What's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey Canning. I'm an independent marketing strategist and on today's video, I'm going to be going over the top five reasons why you may want to consider redesigning your company's website. Now, this is obviously a big decision for your company to make because in the quarter or so that you'll be pursuing this project, it's probably going to be the thing that takes up the most amount of bandwidth across your entire marketing team. Or if you're a small business owner, then it's going to be one of the biggest things you're working on that quarter as well. And I just wanted to cover this topic in today's video because oftentimes, in my experience, a website redesign is going to coincide with either a major brand refresh or it's going to be coinciding at a time where your company is struggling to gain traction from its online marketing effort. But I'm going to be going over the top five reasons why clients often come to me when they're looking to redesign their website. And if any of these reasons resonate with you, then you're likely going to need to redesign your company's website. But before we get into all that, we have to take care of the housekeeping. So if you're interested in branding, web design, or digital marketing, you're definitely going to want to subscribe to my channel because I'm putting out at least one video per week going over those topics. Whether you're a business owner or a marketing director, if your company is looking to increase the amount of traffic it's getting, generate more leads online, and ultimately close more sales to increase revenue, then you're not going to want to miss out on any of the content I'm putting out. So like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, share it with your network. And with that out of the way, let's get into today's video. All right. So the number one reason why you'll likely want to redesign your company's website is that it currently features an outdated design and or an outdated technical infrastructure in which it's built upon. So let's talk about the design first. If your website was last designed several years ago, then it likely needs a refresh because design trends change. And quite honestly, the tools that were used to build websites several years ago are just not up to par with what can be done today online with modern tools like Webflow, which is my favorite website builder. So this is the most obvious one on the list, but really just take a look at your website and ask yourself, does it convey a premium brand? brand presence? Does it have high design value? And if not, then I would definitely consider redesigning your website based solely on the design as well. Reason being is that there was a recent McKinsey study that came out that showed that brands that invest in design on average see two times the amount of growth online than businesses that don't. So the online presence and the premium brand identity established by a high-end website is going to do your business a huge amount of benefit online because you're going to be able to generate more leads, you're going to be able to charge premium prices, and ultimately you're going to be able to stand out from the local and national competition by investing in a high-end website. Now design is very subjective, so I want to give you a couple of key metrics that you can use to evaluate if whether or not the design of your website is helping your company's online marketing efforts. The first thing we're talking about here is the conversion rates of your website. Now, hopefully you have some analytics on the website that allow you to easily measure this, but if not, I would just recommend that you look back on the form submissions of your website and just review how often are people filling out a form to get in touch with your business about a project or an opportunity or just some sort of new business engagement. If you never get a form submission and you never get people inquiring about your company services, then that is a pretty big telltale sign that you might need to redesign your website. Another thing worth mentioning, and this is very easy to find in your analytics software, is the bounce rate. So if you're seeing bounce rates of anywhere between 60 to 70% and also time on site on average, so if on average people are spending, let's say, 30 seconds or less on your company's website, then that means that they're really just not enamored with the design, they don't like the content, and whatever reason, it's just not doing it for them. And then you're also going to want to pull up your website on your phone and see how does it look from a mobile responsive standpoint. Point because so oftentimes marketers, business owners, etc., we're on our laptops all day, but consumers these days are spending the vast majority of time on their phones. And statistically speaking, it's likely that a majority of your company's online traffic is coming from mobile devices. So definitely review it on your phone and see how it looks. And if there's any glaring issues, that may also be contributing to the lack of success you're seeing online. Along with the design of your company's website, I want to talk about the infrastructure of which it's built upon. Maybe when you first set up the website, you didn't really know what you were doing, or you just needed to get something up and running very quickly, and you heard about Wix, and you heard about Squarespace, and you thought, I think those, that'll work. Let's do that for our new website. The problem with either very simple CMS or very generic website builders like that, or on the other end of the spectrum, something like WordPress, which is very complex, and perhaps your WordPress site was built with an old, outdated theme that's just very bloated, essentially locks you into a cookie cutter design, and makes it hard to update the site with new content and new features. If 
your site is built on an outdated infrastructure like that, then that is another reason why I would highly recommend investing in a redesigned website for your company. Because one, ultimately, you're going to have to redesign the website anyway to get out of that infrastructure. But then two, by not being able to leverage the website as a true digital marketing machine, then you're going to be stuck behind the competition at all times because it's going to be very hard to leverage the website to produce new content, to spin up new landing pages, to add new features, to add new bells and whistles, that sort of thing. It's really just going to make your job much, much harder by having a website built on an infrastructure that is five years outdated and the competition, meanwhile, is having websites built on Webflow and they're able to make super quick changes to the marketing strategy on the fly and really just leverage the website as a true online marketing machine. So if your site is built on an old, outdated infrastructure, or maybe you don't even know what it's built on, and it's just completely unrecognizable to you, then that is, again, going to be another reason why you might want to invest in a redesigned website. All right, real quick, if you're enjoying this video and you're getting a lot of value out of it, and you want to set up a meeting with me to discuss your company's website and digital marketing strategy, then definitely feel free to book a strategy call with me. Link in the description to where you can learn more about that. But long story short, I will take the time to learn more about your company marketing and sales goals and then ultimately by asking a series of questions I will help you outline a marketing and website game plan in order for your company to achieve that so it's very casual it's very friendly 30 to 45 minutes is all it takes and if we're not a good fit to work together I will help you personally find either an agency or a freelancer in my network who can better serve you so quite honestly I would say you have nothing to lose but a whole lot to gain so link in the description if you want to learn more about that strategy call and without further ado let's get back to the video the next thing we need to talk about is the stage of which your company's brand is in so if your company is currently going through or considering a major rebrand or at least a brand refresh then this is also very often a time where you might want to consider redesigning your company's website so that it fits into this new brand design language. This is going to mean a significant new update in its design language, especially if your company has had the same brand for the past decade or so. So oftentimes it does make sense to redesign the website and then launch the rebrand along with the new redesigned website. Now, even if you're not doing a complete rebrand, however, maybe your business is repositioning itself within the local market. So it's offering new services or it's looking to service a new type type of clients, then oftentimes that can also be a reason why the evolution of your company would give you good reason to pursue a website redesign. The next thing I want to talk about is site speed, which is increasingly important for SEO, for generating conversions from paid traffic sources like Meta and Google Ads, and also just providing a good user experience. There have been several studies that have come out that basically show that for every second longer than three or four seconds that your website takes to load, it corresponds with a 20 to 30 percent traffic drop off per extra second it takes to load and if your website is built on an old wordpress theme or it's just several years old and you notice that it's pretty slow across the board that could be a reason to consider redesigning your company's website because oftentimes if it is going to be slow across the board there's only so many optimizations you can make to actually get this site to work and be extremely fast because oftentimes the underlying issue is that it's built on an old outdated theme, especially in the WordPress ecosystem, or it's just built on an old infrastructure slash CMS that is just not going to be up to par with modern day standards. So this is one reason why I love using Webflow so much is that honestly, it requires very little optimization to have really fast site speed right out of the box. And this is especially because the hosting that it comes included with AWS, Amazon Web Servers is the best in the business essentially. So if your site has very slow loading times and it's painfully slow for you and your customers or clients have complained about it, investing in a new redesign and revamping the technical infrastructure with a modern website builder slash CMS like Webflow is going to be a significant reason why you might want to consider redesigning your company's website. Another issue of having your website built on an old outdated infrastructure is that oftentimes as your company's website grows, this will lead to scalability issues, which is just going to make it much more harder to manage the website and its content in the back end going forward. So this is another reason why it makes sense to upgrade to a modern CMS platform platform like Webflow, where it just makes managing the scalability of the website very easy, and you're not going to be locked into an outdated infrastructure or have a website that's just not able to essentially be flexible with the changing needs of your business. The next thing we got to talk about is poor digital marketing performance. So maybe your company has a website that you think is solid. And because of that, you have been pursuing other online marketing strategies. Maybe you've been investing in an SEO campaign by creating local service pages and producing high quality content that lives on your website in order to rank for organic keywords that are going to drive traffic to your website. 
Or maybe you're investing in meta ads or Google ads, and you're looking to drive people to the website based on the ads that you're paying for. Now, what I would say to that is oftentimes when we look under the hood, you will see that there's not maybe a problem with your SEO strategy or your paid traffic strategy. Rather, there is a problem with your website. And this all goes back to the idea that I talk about a lot on this channel, and that is that your website is essentially the foundation of your entire digital marketing strategy. So you could imagine that if you are building a pawn a poor foundation, then it's going to be likely that what is built on top of that is going to suffer as well. For example, when it comes to SEO, a lot of the technical SEO factors that go into how well your website is going to rank are directly correlated to how your website is built. So is it built on a modern website platform like Webflow, or is it on an old outdated WordPress theme that loads super slowly? So those are some of the things that you need to consider because honestly, the way Google is going now, site speed is very important. Mobile first is very important. And these are the things that you really need to have an up-to-date modern website in order to be in compliance with so that you can rank high in Google SERP pages. Same goes with paid traffic. So for example, if you are driving people back to your website on a landing page from a Facebook or Instagram ad, if it takes several seconds to load while people are already scrolling through social media, then it's likely that they're eventually going to drop off and not even going to be able to interact with your business's offer. If you've been pursuing a consistent marketing strategy and you've failed to generate any new opportunities or leads from that, then definitely take a second look at your website because you might think you have an SEO problem, you might think you have a paid traffic problem, but really you have a website problem. And so oftentimes that's why when I'm working with clients, the first thing we do is revamp their website because honestly, that is where all your digital marketing activities are going to revolve around. Last but certainly not least, the last thing we need to talk about here is your competition online. So I highly recommend going to your local and national competitors' websites and viewing them and thinking about how they compare to yours. Because oftentimes, especially service-based businesses, your prospective clients are going to be doing a lot of shopping around. And if your website does not compete from a design perspective and you're not pursuing a sort of content marketing strategy that you can use the website as an online platform to educate your prospective customers, build trust, build loyalty, and then ultimately make it clear in their minds that you're the right ones for the job, then you're going to be fighting an uphill battle the entire time, quite frankly. And it's going to be much harder for you to generate leads, and it's going to be much harder for you to charge premium prices in the sales conversations you're having with people. So you definitely need to evaluate the competitive landscape that your website it revolves around. If your competitors have better designed websites than you, then quite honestly, you're always going to be fighting an uphill battle. All right, guys. So that is the video for today. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. If you liked it, definitely subscribe to my channel because like I said, I'm putting out at least one video per week all about branding, web design, and digital marketing. So if you're looking to increase the amount of traffic that's coming to your website, if you're looking to generate more leads, if you're looking to close more sales and grow your company's revenue, then definitely stay tuned to my channel because that's essentially what all my content revolves around helping you do.